टू डायमेंशनल मोशन इज लर्न थ्रू वेक्टर्स प्रोजेक्टाइल एंड सर्कुलर मोशन एज फार एज योर सिलेबस इज कंसर्न प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन इज एक्चुअली थ्री फॉर्मुलस मैक्सिमम हाइट दैट्स यू स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा बाई टू जी रेंज दैट्स यू स्क्वायर साइन टू थीटा बाई जी एंड टाइम दैट्स टू यू साइन थीटा बाई जी But this is the standard way of learning it. As far as JE problems are concerned, this learning will not work. This is because these formulas are derived by assuming a standard projectile, that is, a body projected on a horizontal plane. But what if the question is about a half projectile or a projectile on an inclined surface? What do you do now? The answer is pretty simple. Do what projectile motion actually is. that is a two dimensional motion now start looking at the 2d motion as a combination of two one dimensional motion for instance let's take this standard projectile this projectile which a 2d motion is actually combination of two 1d motions one dimensional motion along the horizontal direction and another one dimensional motion along the vertical direction now once you start seeing things like this suddenly everything you know about 1d motion becomes applicable in 2d motion also let me explain more so in this scenario let's look at the horizontal motion what is happening here the initial velocity along the horizontal direction is u cos theta at is as it is very obvious there's no acceleration along the horizontal direction so it's a uniform motion so what will be the equation yes x is equal to u cos theta into t what happens in the vertical direction initial velocity is u sin theta initially it's a decelerated motion because gravity reduces the speed once it reaches maximum height it becomes an accelerated motion so the expression will be u sin theta t minus half gt square that's it